السلام عليكم this is a description of the fifth lecture in the central nervous system dealing with the drawings of the open medulla together with the three levels of the pons in this lecture we will recap the previous sections very rapidly and we will move to the labeling of open medulla together with the three levels of the pons here this is the cervical and this is this gracile then we have the cuneate then we have this is the ventral spinocalamic try to revise with me then we have this is the lateral spinocalamic and this is the spinotectal spino olivary and the ventral spinocerebellar don't forget that the dorsal and ventral spinocerebellar are at the same level but one is dorsal and the other is ventral and this is the lateral spinocalamic this is the ventral spinocalamic and this is the two uh, also we have here the dorsal spinocerebellar here this is the comma shaped its shape is very evident and this is the lysowers and this is the saciculi propri cross pyramidal olivospinal lateral reticulospinal ventral reticulospinal ventral tectospinal ventral vestibulospinal rubrospinal lateral tectospinal lateral vestibulospinal then move to the upper thoracic where we have the gracile cuneate dorsal spinocerebellar ventral spinocerebellar lateral and ventral spinocerebellar and the two this is the septomarginal this is the comma shaped fasciculi propri the sour tract gracile cuneate dorsal lateral spinocerebellar ventral sp ventral spinocerebellar spinotectal spino olivary ventral spinocerebellar and this is the lateral reticulospinal and this is the cross pyramidal rubrospinal lateral vestibulospinal sulcomarginal direct pyramidal the ventral tectospinal the ventral reticulospinal this is the lower thoracic gracile lateral spinocerebellar ventral spinocerebellar ventral spinocerebellar dorsal spinocerebellar spinotectal spino olivary cross pyramidal rubrospinal the uh, lateral vestibulospinal lateral reticulospinal ventral reticulospinal ventral tectospinal and the sulcomarginal here we have the uh, lumbar don't forget also to revise the nuclei here is the gracile this is the lateral spinocerebellar ventral spinocerebellar because the dorsal is not uh, uh, formed at this level of l3 this is a spinotectal and this is a spino olivary and this is the ventral spinocerebellar cross pyramidal lateral reticulo uh, lateral vestibulo ventral reticulo sulcomarginal and don't forget the nuclei of course SGR means sensory anterior posterior commissural anterior posterior medial motor central motor anterior posterior lateral motor here we have the uh, motor decussation in the closed medulla here we have uh, the gracile tract and this is the cuneate tract and this is the spinal trigeminal tract and this is the dorsal spinocerebellar ventral spinocerebellar lateral spinocerebellar spinotectal spino olivary and the ventral spinocerebellar here we have the cross pyramidal and the rubrospinal and the medial intruder bundle and the me and the uh, ventral tectospinal and the olivospinal and the direct pyramidal tract also we have here the central canal 
And this is the detached anterior horn cells, of course. This is the gracile nucleus, cuneate nucleus, and the spinal trigeminal nucleus. Now let's move to the uh, closed medulla at the level of sensory decussation. This is the gracile tract, and this is the gracile nucleus. This is the accessory cuneate nucleus. This is the cuneate nucleus. This is the spinal trigeminal tract. This is the spinal trigeminal nucleus, and don't forget this is the cuneate tract. Dorsal spinocerebellar, ventral spinocerebellar, lateral spinocalamic, spino-olivary, spino-tectal, and the ventral spinocalamic. Here we have also the uh, nucleus of the vagus, dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus, and this is the rubrospinal. This is the medial longitudinal bundle. This is the medial tectospinal. This is the medial meniscus. And this is the olivospinal. And this is ex medial accessory olivary. And this is the arcuate nucleus. And this is the pyramid, uh, pyramid tract. And then we have um, the open medulla. Here in the open medulla, this is the new section. You can divide this section into three bulges. This is one bulge, the second, the third. And of course, this is the fourth ventricle, as now we don't have a central canal, as it opens in the fourth ventricle. Now, let us start with the first bulge. It is formed by the pyramid. And this is the pyramid, and in front of it we have a curved nucleus, which is the arcuate nucleus that receives the anterior external arcuate fibers. Related to this bulge, we have the group of little, medial longitudinal bundle, medial tectospinal, and medial lemoniscus. And also we have the nucleus, nucleus of hypoglossal together with the nerve coming between this ventral and middle bulge, between the pyramid and the inferior olive. Then we, let's move to the second bulge, which is occupied by the inferior olivary nucleus. And this is the tract that uh, will reach the inferior olive, and from the olive it will pass to the cerebellum. This is the spino olivary. And the fibers will reach the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncle. Now we have two accessory for the olive. We have dorsal accessory olivary and we have medial accessory olivary that appeared in the previous section, which is the, the level of uh, sensory decussation in close relation to the pyramid. Here we have also uh, some of the ascending tracks. This is the lateral spinocerebellar and this is the ventral spinocerebellar and this is the ventral spinocerebellar. We don't have dorsal because the dorsal have entered now through the inferior cerebellar bidunc. Here also we have the three nuclei for the vagus and this is the vagus coming between the bulge occupied by the inferior olive and the bulge formed by the inferior cerebellar bidunc. We have three nuclei, the dorsal motor nucleus and the medial one is the motor nucleus, which is called nucleus ambiguous. So letter M is present three times. It is medial, it is motor, and called ambiguous. Also, we have another nucleus, which is the sensory nucleus, which is lateral, and it is called solitary. So solitary, it has the letter S as it is sensory, and the letter L as it is lateral in position. Then we have the nerve arising here between the middle and the backward bulge, between the inferior olive and the inferior cerebellar bidunc. Here we have a tract that arises from the red nucleus to reach the anterior horn cells, but it was always drawn in the spinal cord on the left side in close relation to the pyramid, cross pyramid, it is the rubrospinal. Here we have the spinal nucleus of trigeminal and together with the tract. And finally, we have the inferior cerebellar peduncle and two nuclei related to it. They are vestibular. The one which is below is the inferior vestibular. The one which is above is the medial vestibular nucleus. Now, this is all about this level, which is very important uh, level as it contains a lot of nuclei two nerves, and the three bulges, the group of letter. 
Now we will move to the pons. The pons is formed of two main parts, the basis pontus and the tegmentum. Here it is the picture of uh, the pons. This is the basis pontus, which contains four structures, and this is the tegmentum, which is nothing but the upward continuation of the medulla. Here, this is the tegmentum, without the pyramid, of course, here. As the pyramid will be uh, broken down here in the form of bundles that will be collected in the medulla to form the pyramid. Now we will see what are the components of the basis pontus. It contains four structures. The pontine nuclei which receives afferent impulses from the cerebral cortex called corticopontine. Transverse pontine fibers which are the axons of these nuclei that will reach the cerebellum through the middle cerebellar peduncle. And these fibers have divided the pyramid into bundles of pyramidal tract. Here, this is the section of the inferior pons. Take care, it has here three nerves. Not two nerves like the open medulla. It contains three nerves emerging from this picture. Here we have the basis pontus at the start. It is formed of four structures. These are the bundles of the pyramidal tract, which are now separated from each other. These are the fibers of corticospinal, of course, separated from each other by the transverse pontine fibers that will enter through the middle cerebellar peduncle to reach the cerebellum. What is the origin of these fibers? They are the axons of the pontine nuclei. So we have here the pontine nuclei, and these are the axons that will pass transverse to enter the middle cerebellar peduncle to enter the cerebellum. So we have here four structures constant in the pons, middle cerebellar peduncle, pontine nuclei, transverse pontine fibers, bundles of pyramidal tract. Let's now move to the tegmentum, which is the upward continuation of the medulla without the pyramid, because the pyramid here is present in the form of bundles in the basis pons. Here we'll have the group of lateral, medial longitudinal bundle, medial tectospinal, medial lemoniscus. And here we have the ventral spinal cerebellar. We don't have dorsal because it enters through the inferior cerebellar peduncle. And we have the lateral and ventral spinal salamic. Here we have the abducent nucleus and the nerve coming straight forward. And another nucleus, which is the nucleus of the facial nerve. And the nerve is forming a loop around the abducent nucleus. That loop will form a bulge in the fourth ventricle called facial colliculus. So that this level is sometimes called the level of facial colliculus. And here we can see the nerve arising in this line in a lateral position. Now, let's move to the remnants of the inferior cerebellar peduncle, which you uh, have a nucleus above and nucleus below. The dorsal one is the dorsal cochlear nucleus. The ventral one is the ventral cochlear nucleus. And this is the cochlear part of the eighth cranial nerve that will reach the dorsal and ventral cochlear nuclei. From the vent dorsal and ventral cochlear nuclei, the axons will arise and cross to the other side to form these transverse fibers called trapezoid body. And after that, they will ascend upwards to form the lateral lemoniscus. Now we have also three nuclei for the eighth cranial nerve, but these are now vestibular, not cochlear. We have dorsal, we have medial, we have lateral, but the inferior is not present here. It is present in the open medulla together with also part of the medial vestibular nucleus. And this is the spinal nucleus of the trigeminal. And this is the last station to see this nucleus together with its tract as it is present in the three levels of the medulla as well as the inferior level of the pons. These dots represent the reticular formation that is present in whole brain stem. Now we have finished all about this level. This is the 8th cranial, this is the 7th, and this is the 6th cranial nerve. Now let's move to the level of the middle pons, which is named by another name, which is the level of trigeminal 
nerve because here we have the emerging of the trigeminal nerve from this level and two nuclei of the trigeminal nerve one is medial which is the motor one is lateral which is the main sensory nucleus of trigeminal together with the fourth type of nucleus or fourth nucleus which is the mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal nerve so we ha here we have three nuclei for the trigeminal nerve because the first nucleus was present in the previous four levels and it is not more apparent here we have the remaining three now let's start with the basis pontus the same structure bundles of the pyramidal tract pontine nuclei transverse pontine fibers middle cerebellar peduncle nothing more now move to the tegmentum you will see the fourth ventricle and here we have the start of the appearance of the superior cerebellar peduncle together with the superior medullary velum at the roof of the fourth ventricle now it is the group of lateral medial longitudinal bundle medial tectospinal and medial lemniscus what is this fiber they are the trapezoid body that will form here when ascend up the lateral lemniscus so we have lateral lemniscus we have the spinal lemniscus by the fusion of the lateral and ventral spinal ceramic now they are forming the spinal lemniscus they are joined together with no space in between in the drawing and again we have also the trigeminal lemniscus on the surface of the medial lemniscus this is a rubrospinal tract coming from the red nucleus and this is the reticular formation. What is this? It is the ventral spinal cerebellar still apparent because it will enter through the superior cerebellar peduncle in a higher level. So this is the start of the superior cerebellar peduncle, superior medullary velum, fourth ventricle, group of lateral, trigeminal, spinal, lateral, lemniscus and the rubrospinal the medial motor and the uh, lateral sensory main sensory of the trigeminal and the mesencephalic with its tract this is the ventral spinal cerebellum now let's move to the very nice level which is the upper level of the pons the same basis pontus with the same four structures the bundles of the pyramidal tract pontine nuclei transverse pontine fibers and the middle cerebellar peduncle here we have in the tegmentum the fourth ventricle the superior cerebellar peduncle superior medullary velum the group of lateral medial longitudinal bundle medial tectospinal medial lemniscus and the rest of the lemniscae here this level is called the level of the lemniscae here we have the fourth lemniscae are very clear and they are separated from each other and they are arranged according to the word lastum lastum means lateral spinal trigeminal and medial lateral spinal trigeminal and medial lastum in arabic word now this is the rubrospinal always present and this is the reticular formation this is the mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal with its tract and nothing more it's a very nice level very nice and easy now remember that the trigeminal nerve has four nuclei till now we have seen these levels in which we have these four nuclei what we have seen we have seen the spinal nucleus of the trigeminal nerve which is actually carrying pain and temperature <coughs> from the face and head and it appeared in the closed medulla sensory decussation motor, motor, motor decussation sensory decussation open medulla and inferior pons four levels and nothing in the spinal cord although it is named the spinal then we have the main sensory nucleus together with the motor for the muscles of the mastication and the main sensory for uh, touch and proprioception touch with its two types and proprioception and it is present in the middle level of the pons the final nucleus is the mesencephalic nucleus and this is for the proprioception and it appears in the uh, uh, here we have in the middle level of the pons and in the upper level of the pons in the middle and the upper together with the midbrain that will be taken in the next lecture so it will appear in four levels here in one level 
here in four levels. Four to four. Thank you very much.